Hello Libra. Let's see what's coming out for you within the next 48 hours. This reading is going to be for Libra Sun, Moon Rising. Please only take what resonates and leave what does not. If you find something that resonates, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. If not, check your other placements. All right, let's get into it. What's coming out for the next, within the next 48 hours for Libra? Let's see. What are the significant energies? All right. Uh, forming new friendships. You got 1010 is definitely going to be very, very significant. Divine timing. Um, a major accomplishment. Why am I hearing it's about time? It's about time, a fire sign. It's about time uh, for this partnership or collaboration with this fire sign, a fire moon, sun rising, sun, moon rising. Why did I say it like that? <laughs> Something is divine timing. Something is perfect. It's divine. 1010, the energy of 1010. Completion, accomplishments. All right, we do have self-sabotage and we have someone is standing up for you. All right, so there's a person who's standing up for you. Don't self-sabotage something. You are safe to express your feelings here. Um, something is a good situation. All right. Something is a good, healthy situation. Let's see what's behind this. Um, there's something that you have outgrown and you're not for everybody and that's okay. But this is good. Somebody is standing up for you. It's like, don't self-sabotage a relationship. Don't self-sabotage a bond. That's what I'm getting here. Good health, good situations. Don't self-sabotage a bond. Somebody could be standing up for you how you self-sabotage something, like they're not giving you a hard time. You're safe to express yourself. You've outgrown the environment of unsafe relationships where you don't feel like you can safely express who you are. And for a lot of people, what you are. Let's see. What's coming towards Libra within the next 48 hours? Thank you, thank you, thank you. We got three coming out. <clears throat> okay, so there's a rebirth. There is a communication, um, a conversation between two people working together. All right, somebody has this Scorpio, like they have really, really high Scorpio energy that they don't have to be a Scorpio, but they have significant Scorpio placements. And the other person has significant Leo placements. Um, somebody could be thinking about rebuilding something. Yeah, somebody could be focused and dedicated on rebuilding something. Like, I do also feel like somebody could definitely be focused on fixing some type of problem or fixing some type of conflict, conflict resolution, um, two people coming together here. That's what I see. I also see somebody is smitten by another person. I do also see that there could be a rekindling in a relationship. What else? There's movement. There's travel. Somebody's going to a new place. Yep. Movement, travel. Somebody's going to a new place. All right. So in this new place, you'll get everything that you deserve. So somebody's going to this new place. Somebody's moving. Somebody's traveling. Somebody's in alignment. When you get to this new place, you'll get everything that you deserve here. Um, I feel like you are used to getting the short end of the stick, but this is another like you will not get the short end of the stick in this in this environment. I feel like the self-imposed prison here. This is like 
to get you to get out of your comfort zone and to get you to broaden your horizon so you can actually get what you deserve. There's a self-imposed prison and as to why you are keeping yourself safe in one place or doing one thing or whatever instead of broadening your horizons. When you travel or when you go to this next level, this will be you getting out of that self-imprisonment. And you get something that you deserve. You get everything that you deserve. You don't get the short end of the stick. You could be used to getting the short of this end of the stick in this area, but in this environment, no. You don't. All right, what else here? We do have the world coming out. All right. We have the, okay. So we do have the world coming out with the Knight of Cups and the Seven of Wands. I do feel like somebody could be trying to like spit game or somebody is getting game spit at them or whatever. And they're kind of trying to hide their smile. They're trying to hide how they feel about a person. Um, they're trying to hide it all. Like somebody feels like, yeah, here's this Empress energy. This could be you. Um, it looks like the Empress could definitely be feeling somebody and they're trying to hide it. Um, there could be a relationship that's, yeah, look at that. The High Priestess. This could definitely be the other person that's trying to hide how deeply they feel for you. Or the fact that they are affected by your feminine charm or under your Empress energy or something like that. Affected by your aura. They're trying to hide it. But you kind of, you can see through all of that. Yeah, what does Libra need to be on the lookout for? All right, we got the tower here. What does Libra need to be on the lookout for within the next 48 hours? Within the next 48 hours, there's a tower coming. Something could definitely get extremely uncomfortable or extremely hard. Um, you have 10, 10. All right, so it's the end of hard work and the end of suffering. The end of of of. I would just say the end of suffering here. Um, this has a lot to do with the belief system. So some of you guys have the belief that you need to suffer in order to get what you want or that you were sent here to suffer or um, you have to live a certain type of way or you have to have a certain type of like that. That's like a belief system that you have, like this suffering thing. Um, but that gets cracked open. There's some something that comes out of the blue with this. I do feel like that the moment you open up your mind or you open up yourself to think a, a different thought, then there is a ripple effect that happens here. And this also brings you justice. So justice is coming in, coming in. But first, justice needs to get rid of this belief system. I feel like something could definitely be happening in the uh, workplace. Or something surrounding money, energy, value, opportunity. All right, so Libra, you got a lot of people around you here. All right, so you have you had people around you that didn't necessarily that were competing with you. Okay, um, you thought that you had people around you that were your friends, but really you had people around you that were competing with you. Um, you do have this aura about you. You have won something. You have something. You possess something, whether it is the type of energy or not. Or this could just be something of value that you have. It looks like you've been working really, really hard to get something or you've been working hard. You've been collaborating with a lot of people. This is just you. There's there's going to be some old memories about um, the times when you had a lot of people around and they had ulterior motives. Okay. I feel like this can this can come up because there could be a phone call or you can run into a person, um, someone who had you in that energy. You may see a person and you remember like, I remember I had these people around me and they weren't, they didn't have good intentions or something like that. But these people were really, they were trying to get close closer to you so they can compete with you. All right, what else? Something's coming in really, really fast that you need to be on the lookout for. All right, calm down. I see the anxiety, like, calm down. Yeah, something's coming really, really fast. It's coming out of the blue. Something's telling you to calm down, sit back and relax. 
um, there's an option coming to you, okay? So you have these seven of cups, but there's this one option, this one option that looks like this is the only option you have your mind set on and it comes to you really, really fast. Yeah, you have the ace of cups, okay? So you have this wish fulfillment that comes to you. Something is coming very, very fast. It just, something sweeps you off your feet. That's the energy that I'm getting. Like, be prepared to get swept off of your feet within the next... 48 hours. And when I'm saying that you have the Knight of Wands, this is the person that takes you on a date that that's kind of trying to woo you. Um, be prepared to get swept off of your feet. All right. All right. Let's see. What are some significant energies for Libra? Got the Emperor is a significant energy for you, Libra. All right. We have the Eight of Cups. It's a significant energy, all right, for you within the next 48 hours. The Empress is a significant energy, all right? Hard work definitely pays off. Something you've been working for, something you've been working towards. Okay, let's see. And we have the Nine of Swords. Okay, so first we have the Emperor. This is going out there and getting what it is that you want. This is the person in charge. Um, so I feel like you can be definitely the person in charge. You can be very, very close, very, very favorable to this person in charge. There could also be a business that you are in charge of. Um, it's like you're sitting on the throne or you're sitting somewhere next to... Or I feel like you have all of this power. All of this power coming towards you. I do also feel like this is the energy of you going and getting what it is that you want. You building a whole like empower, empire. You taking care of a lot of people. Um, it's almost given like you are directing the show. Like you call the shots energy. This is this energy of this. Um, the next 48 hours. That's possibly what your energy needs to be like, like you are calling the shots on something. All right. We do have the hermit. We have the 10 of swords in reverse and we have the hermit in reverse. So it looks like somebody could try to, could be avoiding something or avoiding a person or avoiding talking to somebody or avoiding, like, it's like this avoidant energy that don't really quite mesh well with the emperor. So somebody is avoiding something because they went through something really, really bad. Okay. And they're trying to reverse some type of effects. Yeah, they're going through some type of healing. They're trying to reverse some type of effects. But the energy that you need to have or the energy that you need to possess is the energy that you kind of call the shots that you say when. You do have the Page of Cups and the Eight of Cups. Yeah, this is... You're thinking about somebody's stuck in the past, thinking about the time when things didn't serve them, um, stuff like that. And you could be avoiding something now, but this is all the opportunity for you to go out there and get it. You do have the 10 of cups. You have the ultimate wish fulfillment for you. All right. Tell me more about the eight of cups. This is you walking away from something that is not serving you emotionally. So that's some big energy here. You do have the knight of pentacles, which means like you're standing in the middle, this middle energy, like you don't know this, there's a, there's a belief system. So you're this close to walking away from something to get in. You're this cl much closer to your sunshine if you were to walk away from something, but you keep on delaying something because there's a faulty belief system here with it and you need to clear out that belief system. And that's why your mind hasn't been made up. Like, should I go? Should I stay? Should I go? Should I stay? Is the right choice or is it the wrong choice? And this is because there is this negative energy. There's this low vibrational energy, which is stemming from a belief system. There's a need for you to get down to the root of a belief system. The moment that you clear out this old faulty belief system, you completely completely leave something behind. For some of you guys, this could definitely be a relationship, a partnership, um, a job. It's just something that, you know, at first you were eye to eye on. At first something, you felt like something was a vibrational match. And then as time went on, you started realizing the more you got to know yourself, you started realizing this is not a vibrational match for me. All right. Tell me more about the Empress. The Empress energy is that divine feminine energy. It is the manifestation. Is you manifesting your dreams? Is you creating what it is that you want? Is you being in the receptive energy, allowing things to come to you? All right. So we do have the page of swords energy. This is this something in the past. All right. So you're thinking about something constantly in deep thought. Um, this could be a lover. 
There's the energy of you kind of letting the person come to you instead of being pushy with your emotions. <clears throat> and look, you do have the emperor right here, the two of pentacles. It looks like the emperor could be trying to figure something out or create harmony or create balance within the relationship with you. But just don't let your emotions from the past get into this, you know, energy. Yeah, something is definitely moving to a higher level of commitment. Someone is definitely working and dedicated to work towards this. And we do have the Empress. So it is like you are manifesting this. So definitely get a little bit more comfortable with sitting in the receptive energy, the receiving energy, the receiving mode. All right. And then we have the Nine of Swords. This is your thoughts, fears, illusions, all of that happening. Let's see why. Okay. So somebody is afraid of a repeat offender. This is from somebody who got away with doing something to you. Like somebody hurt you and then they got away with it. There's a person who feels like somebody got away scot-free with hurting them, with doing like something really, really crazy. Like nearly killing them. Like got away with murder. That's what I would say. So somebody could feel like somebody got away with murder and you're thinking about it. Hmm. With the seven of pentacles. There's a need for you to plant a new seed. Got the king of wands. King of cups. There's something, there's an opportunity that's coming towards you. Yeah, you have the Knight of Swords too. You learn something really fast. I feel like you may learn that a person didn't get away with something that you thought that they got away with. Also, you learn, so you could be learning about a person's karma and then you realize, oh, okay, because you really thought that a person like got away with murder. All right, so that is your reading. I'm going to leave it right here. I hope this reading resonates. If it does, make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up and make sure you guys are subscribed. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.